Help support the companies that support our community.
After I got most of the material off, I went ahead and finished it off with a spindle gouge. Just brought down the material and gave it a nice curve around the bottom. And then just cupped it out just a little bit. The cone that I, it's a little adapter that goes over your spur center or live center. And it's perfect for stuff like this. You can put the, the mouth of it, whether it's a vase or a small box or something, and it centers everything up. After I got it cupped out a little bit, I used the Easy Wood Detailer to bring that point down just a little bit and then I could start sanding it. And I used that to cup it out a little bit more in the center. I started out with 120 and went ahead and sanded it all down smooth, dry before I put the oil on it. And then I used the same thing. I used the Doctor's Walnut Oil and coated it all down as I was sanding it. It works great sanding like this it captures all the dust and it's putting the finish on on the same time after i got it all sanded up with the oil i went ahead and took it off the lathe and then just used a small chisel to knock that little point off and then i put a sanding pad in the jacobs chuck and that way i could sand up the very bottom of it and then i went ahead and applied a little bit of oil afterwards so the vase, I believe it's acacia. I'm not 100% sure. I think this is another piece we got from Alan when we were down in Arizona. It's six inches in diameter up here at the top and it's 10 inches tall. So there are a couple little spots on it too that this was a little uh, bark enclosure there. So I popped through on that one and that one there. So I love the way it came out with the with leaving the bark on it and then those two little spots where it where you can see right through it but it's a beautiful piece of wood the heartwood and the sapwood the way they contrast there i just love that and i put this one up for sale on etsy a uh, couple little things um so the hollowing tools the easy wood they came out with the pro series hollowing tools so those are for doing deep hollowing stuff um and they work great for things like this so when I was doing the whole process, I used my, my smaller, the number one hollower, the, the regular one that I use a lot. So I got around the lip, did all the, that stuff inside of there, and then I switched over to the bigger ones. And it went all the way down with the, with the straight one, the number one, the pro size, and then I just came around the lip with the larger one. So they work great if you're into doing doing big hollowing stuff they work fantastic for that so it's same shapes and everything it's a smaller set these are just massive yeah it's crazy i think the handle on it is about 20 inches but it worked out great and yeah super happy with it all right one other thing i mentioned this on the live show too so um um but i didn't, didn't do it in the video yet um the slick stick this stuff if you do it's the military used to use it for any kind of drilling or cutting so i will put a link down below for this stuff so if you do even i put it on the bandsaw blades it works great it makes it cut much smoother and i believe uh ken has a video ken from wood turner's wonder he, he put up a video where you're on your cbm wheels if you want to grind different types of metal normally you can't do that because it'll gum them up you can actually use this stuff and grind like copper and stuff on it if you want to so i will put a link up to that to the video he did so you can go check that out but super cool stuff any kind of drilling or anything this stuff is amazing and it just takes just a little teeny bit of it uh, i think that's it uh, halloween's coming up uh tomorrow so i hope everybody enjoys that um we i'm trying to think of if i have anything else going on i don't think so we I think that's it. <laughs> this is the part where, where it gets awkward because I'm trying to remember what I was supposed to say or not say or things that are happening. Anyway, um, yeah, go check out the description. I'll put uh, links to all the other tools I use and everything. They're always down below in the description. I have an Amazon store too, so if you want to help support the show, the link to that is down in the description as well. All right, everybody have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.